And we are so glad you're back for the last recipe of the night. And I saved the best one for last. This one is called Wild Rice Hot Dish, also from the Gooseberry Patch. It's from their Best Church Suppers Cookbook, available in stores, Amazon.com, and on the Gooseberry Patch's website. Just look for that book. You'll be glad you did. This was entered by, by June. Ooh. It was submitted by June Sabatinos of Billings, Montana. This one it calls for two pounds of ground beef. I'm thinking 80, 85% lean, somewhere around the, there in that neighborhood. Half a cup of butter, one pound of sliced mushrooms. One cup of onion chopped, a half a cup of celery also chopped, two cups of sour cream, one quarter of a cup of soy sauce, two te teaspoons of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, two cups of long grain wild rice cooked, any brand will work, but preferably you want to get the Uncle Ben's brand because that's a pretty good brand of long grain and wild rice. I really love it. It's delicious. But don't take my word for it. And moving on, yes, this is very important. Half a cup of slivered almonds. Of course, you can find them in your baking aisle or where they keep the nuts in, in your supermarket. And I think the Diamond brand ha has them. So we move on. Brown the beef in skillet over medium heat. Remove the beef from the skillet and then you drain it. You drain, have to drain it well. Melt butter and skillet over medium heat. Saute mushrooms, onion and celery, and melted butter for 5 to 10 minutes just until they're tender. The onions are translucent and the celery is tender. Okay? Then combine the sour cream, soy sauce, salt, and pepper into a large bowl. Then you stir in the beef, mushroom mixture, cooked rice, and almonds. Place that in a greased three-quart casserole dish, either using it with shortening or cooking spray. That that part is truly up to you. Bake uncovered at 350 degrees for, for an hour or just until it's heated through. You stir a little, stir occasionally, and you can you can add a little water if you need to do so. But this one, if you can believe it, serves 12 to 16. Oh yes, it's that good. Everybody will be wanting seconds or even thirds of it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. This is quite a meal to serve the crowd, so get this wild rice hot dish recipe from the Gooseberry Patch, their best church suppers cookbook, either in store, Amazon.com, or their website. Or you can get this recipe on the website. Trust me. It's going to be just what the doctor ordered on busy nights. So I'll do it on Pro's Favorite Fortune Channel 1. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for more videos. Take care, stay safe, and have a good night.